What is your favorite seafood? Mine's octopus. I love anything with testicles. What? <laughs> Ten tentacles. They're bullying me. Christian, looks like you. Can we feed him? Looks like you. <laughs> looks like you. One, two, three. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Young with the hat and welcome back to my channel. Young with the hat? <laughs> like my name, N-H-A. Oh, Special letter A. I usually explain with the hat. Hello. Right now I'm with Christian and Tom. Hello. You guys have seen them already in my previous vlog. They are a couple of TikTokers. And Tom is from Bristol. So right now I'm in Bristol for a weekend getaway. So today I'm going to Third Wildom. They're going to take me to visit <laughs> Bristol. And at the same time, I'm gonna be jealous of the affections. <laughs> We're gonna do a couple of things today. Well, we're gonna go get fish and chips at mm -hmm. like one of the best places in the UK. Then we're gonna go to the aquarium. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna eat fish and then we're gonna go see the fish. <laughs> we're gonna go to the SS Great Britain, which is like a big sailing ship, which is turned into like a museum now. It's gonna be fun. So come with us. All right, let's go get fish and chips. <laughs> so right now we're waiting for the fish and chips and Tom is going to share some facts about Bristol, the beautiful city. Okay, so the name means like bridge town or it comes from bridge town. It's quite an old city. It only became really big like as a trading port, so around like 1700, 1800. These days it's famous for the university, um, like student culture, um, fish and chips. Like fish and chips. <laughs> I just eat, so. Yeah. I don't really know much. <laughs> Cute. Christian is currently starving. He's famished. I'm gonna eat all of this. Maybe theirs as well. Look, he ordered some extra sweet. Tom is adding some vinegar into the chips. Right now, I'm gonna taste it. It's quite good. I think it's quite fresh. And the batter is also very like flaky. So yeah. Bristol is pretty close to the sea. Mm. So it's really fresh. So right now, I'm gonna add some vinegar into the fish. It tastes much better. I already finished because I'm just so hungry. He, he's well, ravenous. How many points out of 10? I think I'm more accustomed to the British flavor, so I'm gonna say 8.5. Especially the scampi, and I also had some squid, but I already ate that before the camera. That's very good. <laughs> good food. I give it 9 out of 10. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. It is the best place I've been to in the UK, and I've been to a few. Mm. I'm British. I'm British, and I approve this message. <laughs> so, Tom, were you born in Bristol? So no, I was born in London, and then we moved to Cambridge, and then we moved to Bristol, then I moved to Cambridge, then I moved to Bristol again. <laughs> He's just from Hong Kong. No, but you moved to Cambridge for school? Not mo I mean, I was still technically based in Hong Kong, but yeah, I mean, I just did back and forth, so I just um, traveled based yeah. every summer back to Hong Kong. I mean, I consider my home Vietnam, just like you consider your home Hong Kong. So my home is Tom. Oh, so <laughs> the couples put the locks on the bridge. So fun. Did you guys do this? No. Did, do no, this yeah. did no. we do it in Paris? I think we did. did we, yeah, I think we did do one, yeah. In Paris? Mm. Uh, we we weep again. We, we. Right now we're going to an aquarium. I love aquarium very much. What's your favorite seafood? <laughs> seafood? <laughs> Can we feed him? Looks like you. <laughs> Looks like you. This fish is called Plague. It's Tom's dad's favorite seafood. <laughs> Every time we see a fish, we want to try to eat it. Especially starfish. No one really wants to eat a starfish. We've, we've just been talking about eating everything in this aquarium. It's yeah. pretty bad. We should be appreciating the wildlife. More. We're appreciating the taste of them. Oh, these these horses are pregnant. They're all so big. The bellies are ginormous. <gasps> Right now we're waiting for the fishes to be fed. Look, I found some pellets. Are you going? You're gonna get splashed. <laughs> I can show you the way. Uh, wrong movie. Uh, the wrong movie. <laughs> How does it start? Someday I'll be part of your world. Someday I'll be part of the world. Yum, 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 yum. If you can be a sea animal, what sea animal would you want to be? You go first. I'll be a whale. A oh, whale? Cool and they're intelligent. Mm -hmm. And they don't really get killed anymore. I'd be a seal pup because they're really cute and have big eyes. Mm. But they get killed by. But they're cute, so it's fine. <laughs> I want to be a jellyfish 
because they have no brain, they just float. Oh, they you, just you already float. Are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no thoughts behind these eyes. No what? No folds. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. They're bullying me. What is your favorite seafood? Now that we talk about sea animals. My favorite is probably a salt and pepper squid. <laughs> Very specific. Very. I order it all the time. Yeah. I think uh, eel. Eel? Eel is really good. Mine's octopus. I love anything with testicles. What? <laughs> Ten tentacles. <laughs> Cheers. Banana and chocolate cake. Christian is eating right now with me because Tom is on a diet. <laughs> Cute. Tastes like banana. <laughs> I hope so. So where are we right now? We are at the SS Great Britain, which is... What? Like a symbol of the Industrial Revolution. It was designed by Brunel and it's one of the most famous things in Bristol. A symbol of the Industrial Revolution <laughs> and it's a symbol of Bristol. You couldn't hear because Tom's soft-spoken. <laughs> this park has been here for almost 200 years old. It is so old. Can you believe that I'm older than these two? I was born in 1998. He was born in 2000 and 2002. I'm You're a baby. baby. First class passenger only. You guys stay here, right? Just wait for me. No crossing the line here. Yeah, uh, watch this. <laughs> Captain, it's too tight. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> yes, we are. Iceberg, just stop. The wheel's almost bigger than you. Too heavy. <laughs> Oh my god, so tall! <laughs> right now we're going to see the first class deck. This is for rich people. The bedroom is quite small. I think I can fit into that. The average Victorian person is 5 foot tall, so you're actually taller than them. I'm 5'5". Five five. That makes you feel better right? So Much better. I'm literally a tall Victorian. Yeah. All the wax figures look so human. <coughs> oh my goodness! It makes some sound! <coughs> this is the dining area for rich people. Hi, mister. What's going on with your life? I see. How's your wife? No, you do. This is his mistress. <gasps> what do you think you'll be doing in the Victorian time? Governor. Governor? Explorer. Because that was actually a fun job. And then you die in one. I think I'd be um, Sherlock Holmes, a detective. I look really good in detective clothes. So this is the poor people deck. We belong here. No. Nope. Maybe you. No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow! Do you think I can fit here? <laughs> Perfect. Like it was made for you. We found a couple of gens on the ground. This is the chain from the ship. So right now I'm gonna try to carry it. It's really heavy. Uh, oh, whoa! Whoa! We're in the gift shops. The best part of any museum. Look. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. So how about right now, I order for you and you order for me. Yeah? So we're ready to order. Because you say that you love eel. What is your favorite seafood? Eel. Eel? Eel is really good. So I think I will choose for you the eel rice. Unadon. Okay, I'm getting the takoyaki set. No one likes octopus. I don't see any sweet here. My favorite is probably salt and pepper squid. <laughs> Very specific. What do you like to eat? Uh, salmon. Salmon. So salmon, sashimi don. Good choice. Thank you. Cheers. I cannot believe that we are four years apart. I feel no generation gap. But I'm young and adorable. You are... Old and adorable. <laughs> Christian doesn't like this. He makes us do it in the street to like random strangers and I'm just like... Uh, one, two, three... <laughs> Look at Tom. I'm not a suit. I don't know these people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're gonna eat now. Bon appetit. Thank you. We devour everything. Look, just a couple of young and hungry people. Young? One of us. One of us is not young. Right now we're gonna get some water and sit in the park right here. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. It's a nice day. I'm so lucky. Beautiful day. Beautiful me. <laughs> So we finished eating and right now we're just chilling on the grass having a mini picnic with no blanket <laughs> or food. <laughs> food. Oh, we got water. Got water. One bottle so of water. That's a picnic. We're sharing. <laughs> oh. oh, sparkling water. I only found sparkling water when I came to the UK. I don't think there's sparkling water in Vietnam. Have you noticed? That's I true. Seen it, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. 
So basically, I want to ask them a few deep questions. Not deep questions, but more like a higher personal level. As somebody who also posts online content, I find it really hard to do it. So how do you guys manage it as an online social media couple? I think, honestly, we keep a lot of our lives offline. Mm. Like, we do show a bit of ourselves, but if there's ever anything one of us doesn't want to put online, we always just say, and then it, like that's over. Like, we don't overshare if mm. the other person doesn't want it. Like, there's a thing where, oh, if you're an influencer, you kind of, people sometimes say, oh, you owe it to your fans to share every part of yourself. But, I mean, you, that may be true. I don't think but so. But I think especially when it's a relationship, when there's two people, it becomes a lot more about consent. And that's why sometimes it becomes tricky, and that's where I think we have had clashes before, but I think we've worked it out a bit, lot better now. Mm. Where basically it's just respecting each other's boundaries, and just because I'm happy to share this part of our relationship doesn't necessarily mean that he's happy to. Mm. And just kind of respecting those when we post, I think, is mm. quite important. Being with them for a couple of days, this is our third meet already. I find that they're really good at communicating with each other. <laughs> yeah. I think it's quite difficult to post yourself online because sometimes you feel like you have to maintain a certain image but it's always about balance if you find it hard to post something don't post like obviously there is a bit of pressure since we're like LGBT couple there's a lot of people who say oh we don't believe in love again mm. or whatever whatever and while that's like really sweet I think we also do recognize that like we try to stay away from that kind of stress like we don't really let that affect our relationship so mm. whether or not we stay together is not determined by comments yeah, yeah. We don't have that kind of outside pressure that's keeping us together because I can't imagine like if we hated each other <laughs> being stuck together <laughs> because we had to be online. No, yeah. I don't think so. A certain period of my time where I wasn't really happy with my ex, but I feel like I feel that pressure that I have to stay with him because there's just so many people commenting like you guys look so good together, you guys are the dream mm. gay relationship mm. or whatever they call it, and I find it really hard, and that's why. I really respect you guys saying that. Obviously, these two are very smart people. They both study at Cambridge. So, what advice do you give to young people who want to be smart, successful, and compared to Tom, like we have very we're different types of smart. Oh. I think I'm very, very like hardworking and studious, whereas he's a bit more naturally smart. He's still like very hardworking, mm. but I think I grind. I think the point is, it doesn't really matter. There's not one single study approach. Mm. It should be something you, that you do to make yourself happy because yeah. I don't believe in studying for someone else's sake or because you're being pressured into it. Mm. There's so many paths to being happy in life and don't let anyone tell you that you have to get into a top university to yeah. be happy. That might sound hypocritical coming from Cambridge <laughs> students, but yeah, mm. just you, you don't always have to be meeting other people's expectations. There's tons of stuff that can make you happy and you'd be a lot happy if you just drop that pressure. There are many methods to so find what best for you. Because at the end of the day, you live for yourself, not for your parents or your friends. As a happy couple, what advice do you have for other people? Especially for like speaking specifically for like queer relationships. I think it's important not to use stuff you see online or expectations in the community as your metric of happiness or success. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you know, obviously the community is very accepting, very loving, but sometimes it can have kind of like very implicit messages that I think it sends out to other like queer couples about like a certain image or even fitting into a certain like stereotype like, oh, there needs to be a top or a bottom or whatever, like even something dumb like that. I think yeah. it's important to realize that the whole point of being in a queer relationship is setting, like stepping outside the heteronormative societal standard of what it means to be a successful and happy relationship. Mm -hmm. And so realizing not it's not just who you date, but it's also about how you choose to date. Mm -hmm. Should not also be constrained by those expectations, whether those are by heteronormativity or even within the community itself. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the key things that I think makes a successful and happy relationship. It is such a good answer. Oh my God. <laughs> Ignore the toxicity because like Christian said, gay community is very accepting, but they have their own standards too. So yeah. think about what's best for yourself. Juice love. Do this. <laughs> the previous two times, Nyong has given us gifts. So the first time was like rituals, and the second time he gave. I don't know if he put this in the vlog, but he gave Tom a birthday gift. Do you want to say what it was? Oh, it was my um, my wallet because my old one just kind of fell apart. Uh -huh. So I needed a new one, and he got me like a movement wallet. So we've got two rounds of gifts. Oh my goodness. Um, one of them is from Vietnam, but we didn't know what to get, so we got him like boba. It's a boba oh, kit. So I, I, don't I, even know, boba. I don't even know if it's good. So. It looks really good. I thought it looked authentic. I, really. love I don't brown know. Sugar. I love brown sugar. Boba. Thank and you very much. 
It's just extra skincare because we're not sure what to get. Skincare? This is supposedly a really... It's not It's not sponsored, so I won't show the brand. <laughs> but supposedly this is really good for pores. I've got mm -hmm. friends who've said good things about it. Do it's I have pores? <laughs> Do I have no, this skin? Just, I, this is a cute this mask. This happens whenever you give so a skincare could... gift. It looks like you're insulting the other You person. can't really give anything. Like <laughs> Initially, we were going to give him like soaps, but then we were like, does that mean we think he's stinky? So like... Anyway, but this was like, I thought it could be a cute... It like it's a mask basically. Oh, this thank one. you very much. I would try it out. And this is just a eco-friendly bag that they gave us, and I was like, sure, you can have it as well. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, thank you guys. Group hugs. Mm. Oh. It is time to say goodbye to Christian and Tom. Thank you very much for spending time with me today. Have a good, uh, have a good day tomorrow. No, oh, thank you. I'll Enjoy the you. surfing. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. That is so nice. <laughs> you can give anything. Thank you.